So there are four key tips that you can start applying right after you watch this video that will help you to not only have fun while you're playing in the wind, but also win while you're playing in the wind. Number one is figuring out which way the wind is blowing and then making a mental adjustment based off of that. So the wind can be blowing from behind us, can also be blowing from in front of us or towards us. And then we can also have crosswind and then some days we just don't know where the wind is blowing and it just comes in gusts in different directions. Those days are definitely a little bit more tricky. But let's start by talking about when the wind is behind us or it's blowing towards our opponents. So if you're ever playing with the wind, meaning you're hitting into the wind, you wanna to utilize tons of topspin. So we're coming over the ball to make that ball come back down into the court. We wanna avoid hitting underspin because underspin's traveling this direction and with wind, we'll continue to blow that underspin outside of the court. So we obviously wanna be using topspin so that we can bring it back down as well as we wanna aim low. So whenever we're hitting against the wind, we wanna aim low over the net. So when I pick a spot over the net when I'm playing with no wind, I'm typically two to three feet above the net where I'm hitting my ground strokes. When I'm playing with the wind, I wanna take that down to about six inches over the net is where I'm aiming. Because the wind is going to put that extra outward that's gonna make it travel to where it needs to go, you don't necessarily need to aim too high to get it to where it needs to go. So you're hitting with topspin and you're aiming lower than you normally would. The second thing that you need to focus on when the wind is at your back and you're playing into the wind is that your opponents are playing against the wind. And so since they're playing against the wind, as they hit the ball towards you, it's not going to travel as far. So we need to readjust our ready position. So when I'm returning the ball, I'm typically about five to six feet behind the baseline. And I'll still do that even when there's wind behind me. But as soon as they make contact with the ball, I'm gonna judge where that ball is going to land. If I can see that the ball is gonna land somewhere around mid court, I'm going to quickly get to mid court. If I see that the ball is gonna land somewhere at the baseline, I'm gonna quickly get to the baseline to hit that next shot. So I'm gonna be just about a foot behind where that ball is going to land. Since the wind is blowing in this direction, that ball isn't gonna travel very far after it bounces or after it makes contact with the ground. So we need to make sure that we take a mental note of that, that we have to adjust our minds to moving further forward into the court. On the opposite side of the spectrum, that's where we're playing against the wind. And when we're playing against the wind, we wanna utilize underspin where we're cutting underneath the ball. That will help the ball float higher and travel further. And then the second thing that we wanna do is aim higher. So we're against the wind, we're gonna aim higher and we're gonna hit underspin. So whenever we're playing against the wind, we're still gonna start by returning five to six feet behind the baseline. And then as soon as they serve the ball, we're gonna take a mental note of where that ball is going to land. And we're gonna move accordingly. Whenever we're playing against the wind, the ball is gonna travel whenever our opponents hit it an extra about one to two feet than it normally would because they're coming with the wind. So if the ball, for instance, lands at midcourt, it's gonna come another two feet past where it normally would. So we wanna be about three to four feet behind wherever that ball lands. So a good rule of thumb, be three to four feet behind wherever the ball lands. If I notice that it's gonna land near the baseline, I'm gonna stay pretty much in my same exact position, five to six feet behind the baseline because it's gonna travel an extra two feet from where it would normally travel after it bounces on the ground. So make that adjustment, it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you're playing against the wind, you need to make sure that you go back further. If you're playing with the wind, you need to make sure that you go forward further. And then the last thing to talk about is when we're playing in crosswind, we wanna always hit against the wind. If the wind is blowing in this direction, I'm always going to try to hit in this direction. For instance, if I'm dinking on this side of the court and the wind is blowing in that direction, I never wanna aim for this sideline with my dink. I wanna put everything either up the middle or back cross court. And what you'll see is your margin for error is a whole lot greater whenever you're hitting those balls cross court because the wind is blowing in that direction. So it's gonna keep that ball down nice and low so that you don't really have to worry about your opponent, first of all, taking it out of the air and speeding up the ball, or also the ball just going wide every single time. So remember, never hit into the wind whenever you're playing in crosswind. Now the last type of wind to talk about is when there's an absolute hurricane going on and it's coming in all kinds of different directions. The best rule of thumb to use is to keep every single ball up the middle of the court. So if you're dinking, you're trying to hit the middle of the kitchen. If you're hitting drives, you're trying to hit the middle. And what's great about the middle is that it causes tons of confusion between partners, especially when you're in a hurricane and the ball is blowing in different directions. There will be some type of miscommunication. Maybe you'll hit a winner, 
maybe their paddles will clash together. That's really your best bet to use whenever you're playing in wind that's blowing in all different directions from one point to the next. Tip number two is to go for bigger targets. Stop aiming for the line. One of the biggest mistakes that amateur players make consistently is that they aim for the line. So they'll get an opportunity to speed up the ball and they literally aim to hit the line. Problem with that is that you only have a 50-50 chance of actually hitting the ball and it's actually less than that since you're aiming for the line. But either the ball is gonna go into the court or it's gonna go out of the court. Whereas if you aim a foot in from the line, your consistency goes way up. So here's a really awesome drill that you can do to practice this. Place cones a foot from the sideline and a foot from the baseline in whatever position that you want. This is best to do with a ball machine because you're just gonna be hitting to the cones. You could also have someone feed you balls if that's what you'd prefer to do. This will help your brain stop aiming for the line and it'll actually create a new line that you can aim for even though it's not physically there when you get into tournaments and into match play and that's where it really counts. So remember, aim a foot in from the line, don't aim for the line and your consistency will shoot way up, especially when you're playing in wind. Tip number three is to get to the kitchen line as quickly as possible. You have a whole lot more margin for error the further back that you stand because you have to hit upwards on the ball. Whenever we hit upwards on the ball, the wind can take that ball in many different directions and our chances of hitting the ball in is a lot less. Whereas if we're standing here on the kitchen, it's a whole lot easier to hit that ball in consistently because the net isn't all that far from us so we can more easily hit our targets. Number four, accelerate, don't decelerate through the ball. A lot of times players that are playing in the wind will start to push the ball, okay? They'll decelerate. They'll slow down as they're hitting through the ball. They get tense and they try to just keep the ball in wherever it's going. That's the opposite of what you wanna do. Instead, what you wanna do is make sure that you're hitting through your shots and accelerating, going from slow to fast. That's gonna help you to be able to produce the spin to keep the ball down into the court and also help the ball to travel the distance that it needs to go so that it doesn't blow back onto your side of the court. So try those tips and you'll actually enjoy playing in the wind and hopefully win more in the wind. And check out this video right here if you wanna see a masterclass on the seven basic tactics of pickleball. If you watch this video and apply the tactics in it, you'll quickly take your game to the next level.